She's suing Continental <clears throat> because the turbulence was mental. Yes, a plane passenger has continued the hot new trend of idiots suing airlines thanks to a flight she took back in 2009, which apparently left her with mental trauma due to turbulence. Colleen O'Neill claims that the normally short college station to Houston flight, my favorite, lasted over two hours, and the bo overly bumpy ordeal left her fearing for her life. The result, you guessed it, the old standby is that post-traumatic stress disorder. Where would frivolous lawsuits be without it? Here's what real PTS looks like, you stupid woman flyer. They have the um, art of getting on that hammock mastered. Staying on is a different story. Uh. After that fall, both bears were admitted to Bellevue's mental ward, quote, to uh, acute hu hammock a humiliation. <laughs> uh. Very sad. Rick, you fly all the time. Yes, uh, I very, do. Very far places. Sometimes you leave the country. Yes. Uh, and you go to other countries. I do that. Yes. Uh, you experience turbulence. Have you, I have. Does this woman uh, have a legitimate beef? Only if she also sues God for creating turbulence mm -hmm. and Wilbur and Orville Wright for inventing airplanes. <laughs> do you think she should do that? Yes. <laughs> I think she should name them all in the loss. I mean, what are we... Seriously? Yeah. Cause suing the airline for the turbulence? You know what? First of all, wear your seatbelt at all times. They tell you to do it. Yeah. Good advice. I never listen. This is a good yeah. point. This girl does not. I don't think she knows what turbulence is. I think she thinks that the pilot's bored, <laughs> and he's just there. He's like, you know what? <laughs> like that. So people go back and forth like little bus. I, she, I don't think she realizes that it's a climatic Have thing. Have you ever been in clear yeah, air turbulence where there's no sign of a me. storm, and you just hit a pocket yeah, and drop right. like 100 feet? And yeah, 10, it's the, it's the worst seconds. thing in the world. It's the worst thing. Anna, what do you make of this? You're a woman. I'm a woman. I was <laughs> I was excited to join her. I mean, if you fly business class on American, they, they the the wafting smell of chocolate chip cookies and like I get fat because I eat them. It's not a meal. It's not even a meal time. They give them to you. You can't say no. Yeah. Every time I talk about it, I crave another chocolate Anna, chip it's got to be so tough. It is hard. Flying on business class, American. I did it, I did it once. All of our viewers are You know what, just, they, give, I, you I know what they give us once. in Coach? Rocks. Yeah. All right? I don't have any teeth left. No, you know, well, we get, we smell the flatulence from the first class passengers <laughs> after they're eating their damn I chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> Ooh, chocolate and then we chip dodge the oh, live chicken. I'm an well, author who wrote a memoir. Let's of be cookies. perfectly clear. I did not. I afford that ticket for my appearances on Red Eye. True. Well, for you. Joe, uh, she says she now fears flying and mm -hmm. it affects her job. Uh, could she get a settlement out of this? And could that yeah. start an, a, a whole new kind of lawsuit uh, flurry? Absolutely. Well, she'll never go back to her old job as an air show stunt pilot. <laughs> Not after that experience. <laughs> that is I, I true. I think the big problem was the in flight movie was Final Destination, and that's really unfair. <laughs> That's Especially it. for a 20-minute flight. Why would they have a new flight? <laughs> yeah, so they only show, show the gross parts. That's an interesting point. I've been on planes, Virgin pla the Virgin mm -hmm. plane, where they That's have the every movie, kind. and they have movies on there with plane crashes on in them. Yeah. Plane crashes, Bill. I, I was they reading Outliers, those. the section on the pl you know the countries that have the mo most plane mm -hmm. crashes. I mean, I did that yeah. myself, the plane. Yeah. But I could sue that airline. Yes, you I, could. I was on yeah. a flight. Yeah. <laughs> so you were in first class reading Malcolm Gladwell. Eating cookies. Uh, that's Eating the cookies. life I lead. <laughs> it, it happened once. <laughs> Bill, I got to ask you, uh, did she leave anyone out of the lawsuit? Uh, yeah, friends and neighbors that laughed at her. Yeah. Uh, because that's like a personal feeling of uh, self, lack of self-worth that I thought yeah. sure bothered her. Um, anybody that, you know, accidentally poured their coffee on her while she was telling them the story because they were laughing so hard. There's a whole gamut, Greg. Mm. And by the way, similar things have happened to me while I was in first class reading Freakonomics, I believe. Oh, really? Yes, yes. Yeah, it's it's lovely. It makes you rethink everything. Yeah. Stop uh, trying to be like me. I hate turbulence. I hate it with a passion. <laughs> I take so many medications that I have no Don't memory of the flight. Mm. I, I used That's to the take... the problem. It's not turbulence. You're just on so many medications. <laughs> no, no. no, it makes me love flying. But when I first... When I, first, I yeah. used to fly first. I used to get incredibly drunk, which made you... Like, if, if it was a seven or eight hour flight, you'd wake up in the middle and you'd be really angry and you could be... You, it, you're not a good thing. Then I got into... I got into... Valium, which was great, but then when that went away, you'd become really aggressive. Well, you got you were that guy that climbed up on the beverage cart. <laughs> I know that story. That and wasn't me. No, that guy, that guy, that was so sad what that guy did. Look it up. Look up beverage cart and flight. Anyway, uh, 
and mess. But no, uh, then I went to Ambien, also nightmarish stuff up yeah. on the altitude. Now, Xanax is good for if you have flight anxiety. Just have the cookies, puts you right out. Yeah, being in first class with the cookies, that would probably change everything. They're right? hard just when they're rubbing your feet. One day, maybe. Yes. Yeah. What? Or smuggle pot cookies. They're very popular among coach. <laughs> yeah, I bet yes. they are. <laughs> All right, time to take a break, but we return a very special interview about a very, very special book by a very, very <laughs> special person.